and do condition and deletions first. Lauren has withdrawn her application for the time being, and Vermont 100 has postponed their permit request until next month. We'll take care of that. We have to still add in an executive session. We still have to do this in. First, agenda item will be to interview Judith. Is she online? All right, we can table that until a future meeting. Are there any citizen comments about anything that's not on the agenda first? Uh, Eric, for your manager's report. Yep, so a few quick things. Um, one, I got word last night that the final audit. Of them. Um, two, um, we're starting the process. We, uh, We can only hear about every third word or so. Is that better? That's better. Um, I lied, that's not better. Better. That sounds better. Okay. Um, so we started uh, cut the script with uh, these. I'm so sorry. I think you have to hold it to your mouth. It says PC speaker mode in use, which I think is yeah, that's true. Here, is better up here. That one sentence sounded better. But I can't what? hear you laughing. <laughs> but down. Um, finally, um, as I discussed earlier, I'm working on the update I have right now. Yeah, I'm more time. No, I know. Uh, I Yeah, so we have Crimson Copper for the kitchen is hopefully good. Um, as other more recent ones. Uh, 
a second. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed. Motion carries. Four in favor with one absent. So we have the uh, speed limit and heater. If no, you want to come on up. So he had two rivers do the speed survey. Um, it showed an average speed, and I forget which direction, which one, though, for 85th percent. Of I think 28 and 29. Uh, and you had mentioned that from where the, the uh, speed tube was, it wasn't in the road where you had thought that the speeding was a problem. Is that accurate? I just wanted to mention. Mm. Yeah. Um, so it was right by my front versus ours. Anybody word? Did it just slow down or just be able to do this winter and go truck like stuff? So everyone on the road would like it high enough. It can't be because the 85th is above 25. Um, 85th, 85th percentile, so 85% uh, of the cars traveling the road are traveling without crashing uh, at that speed. So if you low, if you set the speed limit that's below that um, 85th percentile, then you're making violators out of people that aren't necessarily driving under unsafe. Now you've mentioned the curves and the pedestrian course and bicycle usage. It's, it's definitely yeah. Um, but with the guidance that the Mont Lake cities and towns puts out, um, we're not supposed to set a speed limit below the 85th percentile. I think unless you have a number of crashes. But just with the information that we have, not about. But what would we residents mm. You can't. So you can't set below 35 without a speed survey on a gravel road. Speed survey doesn't support more. Um, we do have um, intentions of putting for winter use, you know, all wheel drive, four wheel drive signs up. We can maybe on that put. Sort of caution or caution 25, which is not enforceable, but delivers a message to this. I mean, I'm one of the bicycles that uses that road, and I, I agree with you on any road. I want cars going slower. Um, we're just we're limited by what uh, the statutes say and then what Vermont League of Cities and Towns puts out. That was there anything in Vermont? Because I know they're interested in getting it and have tried. The Vermont legislators can change the statute, but I don't. If, if the statute changes them, then that would give us more uh, leeway, but with what we have right now. I know it's not what you want to so, hear. I, because that's still above the 85th percent. 30 miles an hour. Right. So can we request another food study at the bottom of the hill? We can talk to two rivers. Our, our uh, schedule that we set for, for doing speed reductions is to do that again in 20. We can start planning that with two rivers for 20, 24, 23. We get something here. 
No, I know. <laughs> you. What do we do? All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, when you said science will be coming. They're they're in they're in um we've talked about it with Mark Hunter who's the new highway superintendent. Yeah. Um and so we can look at um, when we do sign back to you to go with that. On each other. And uh, could we that's one of the ones that was already in the works. So this might go up on like the same want to kind of figure it out specifically when we when we go through. But we have to that's that's that would be the goal is to have it on both ends. That's that's already the way it was being talked about. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Local emergency management plan next. So it's in your I think I signed where I was supposed to print and print where I was supposed to sign, but that's your and Then we have the EEI. Next, yes. So this is uh, brought to my attention. Ray asked about this. So, so, uh, basically, it's background uh, last year. dollars Or the birth of the hospital. Yeah. Please. Study we have this outline. Plus seven dollars. Good price without covering the dollars. And we have no utilities. What that wants to be get done. Real question. So, forward this. Nations are going to look at it. Let's go ahead And so at four point five percent to eighty two thousand is that so if we go I guess let me ask this question if we go with the ten year municipal lease at four point five percent um we're presently budgeted for the amount that would be the increase and then keep budget okay, yeah
Yes. 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 So do we need a motion? But we already have a motion. We've already. Well, I think this is the first. Just to choose to do the lease. Yeah, I figured. Just do that. So this is I would make a motion. So once we give the accurate numbers, we want to see the So I will let you guys know that we still can't hear anything. Like I heard Ray make a motion, but I didn't hear the motion at all. <laughs> we can hear about every fifth word, I'd say. Seems kind of like you can't do anything about it though. Seven hundred fifty-five thousand. And then we got the. Is, is that audio better? That last ten seconds was better. Okay, let's try that for a little bit. Thank you. All right, we'll we'll see how this goes. Um. So we'll make a motion to table this until we have accurate figures. Yeah. So, yes, that's okay. That would um, second the motion. Okay. Yeah, so there's a motion to table the um, EEI um, loan until final numbers are in. Uh, it's been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, could we just say a few words? <laughs> We we zoomed in just to, to be part of that discussion, and we couldn't hear anything. And you're already voting on it, so we just we don't know what you just said about EEI. Could you please just review that for us? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes. So the site board's plan is to um, table the uh, final approval uh, pending um, a schedule that'll show the cost over the next ten years. Um, but to go, they, the, the goal is to go forward with the 647550 number um, okay. and, just, and just to see what that cost will be per year for the town. 
Okay. But the feeling I believe from the board was they're in favor of this. They just want to see what the cost will be. Um, and I just want to check in with you, Eric, that um, the the rate will, um, I think the rate has like a 30 day ex expiration and then it'll likely go up again because of inflation right now. So we want to approve the cost as soon as possible and make sure it doesn't go up. Yeah, so I'm, I'll get the reach out to the uh, two of us today and then it'll be on the agenda for two weeks from now for the board to vote on. Okay, thank you. Which brings us to um, the sewer commissions. The first one is the carryover from last month when I spoke with Olden uh, Karen. Uh, she states that she is a, required to be a one bedroom, um, can't have a second bedroom our second you know can't fill the second bedroom because of our lease um and so i think with that information we could entertain um changing her billing to a single bedroom but it would still go back to the date of the beginning of the bill not just when she took residency um, and for those units, Heritage Condo yep. pays the water bill, correct? That's what that's what she said earlier. That part I don't remember what how she put it. Um, I do know that it, the water bill is a um, joint usage, like right. the meters on more than one unit. Yeah. Which is why she's built by bedroom and not by water usage. Right. Yeah. But with, they wanted to get accurate sewer bills, they should have the condo association pay for the sewer bill and charge the residents. Right. Yeah. I. But that's. I think it might be appropriate in the future to talk about um, having the shared usage uh, water bills be consolidated. Yeah. At the sewer level, but. Um, yes. Um, and she said she would get a letter from the condo association stating that it's a one bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. But all right, I'm, I'll I'll make the motion to um, approve this as a one bedroom, a uh, one person, a one bedroom to a bill. That is second. Okay. So there's a motion that's been seconded to um, amend. Ms. Oldenburg's uh, sewer built from a two bedroom to a one bedroom. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed. Motion carries. Four in favor with one absent. Um, then we have 170 Atwood for Mr. Curry. Um, He's a two bedroom build at the two bedroom, um, but is asked to be built at the one bedroom because his wife passed away. Um, but the, if he doesn't, it looks like he doesn't have a water meter, so therefore it's. Uh, it's in the villages up above, like. Um, Sunoco are the, the unmanned mobile pumps now. Um, it might, this house might actually be overlying the town, but that's right in that area. Um, but it is a two bedroom. Would it? Go ahead, Carrie. What's our um, our policy? Isn't it based it, on bedrooms? Yeah, it's it's based on on bedrooms. Um, 
in absence of a water meter. I think we, our hands are kind of tied there, right? That, that's kind of my feeling. Yeah, because where do we, where's the stop? Right. I mean, I feel bad, but. I know. Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but I, the policy is kind of the policy. That's, that's right. Um, so I don't. I will I will just make a point that we have not been billing based off bedroom. It has been single, uh, double, and family rate based on occupancy. Um, and that is the issue we have come across because we don't we have no way of truly knowing how many people are in the building. But I will know in the past we have made like people with five bedrooms are paying single rates. Um, so it is not something we have been strict about. I just wanna Oh. Want, want to bring that up. I think. Well, why not? Well, why we haven't, I don't know. I'm just saying what I, we have I done think in the past. Things where yeah. It's hard to prove yeah. who's actually living Maybe. In, in the building, um, is my assumption that yeah. someone says it's just me in here, and are we going to the house asking to walk in and see see who's actually living? No, but, I, but originally that's why we, we switched the policy to number of bedrooms. Right. It's supposed to be number of bedrooms and not so, well, so that I mean, just never it just never got implemented. Is that what is that what it is? Yeah, yeah we point. were we were going to switch to bedrooms. So that was going to happen, but we never actually did that. And that's the issue. Oh. Oh. Um okay. So I thought that when we reverted back, and I guess I was just mixing up which which direction it was. Um well, I, I thought that we were going to do, if you have a water meter, you pay for your water meter. Yes. And if you have, if you don't have a water meter, you pay by bedrooms. I thought that's what we agreed to last year. I guess, I think what. We didn't, what, but what, we could. Right. We never went to the official new billing method. So we could, what's on the books, I think, is what was on the books, which. Nikki is saying is when we, which got us into this mess. <laughs> um, but I suppose if the ruling is, or I guess the rules are still technically what they were, then that gives us a little leeway, but. Um, she passed away January of uh, this year. So 20. So she's there. Three? Um, yeah. Yes. So that. I mean, going um, uh, the bill is technically from the year before, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I will let you know that this gentleman is not looking to change this year's bill. He's okay. just looking to change future bills. Um, okay. 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 All right. That's fine. Um, then I just say that we table that till we figure out how we're going to start waffle. Because if we change it now, we'll be able to change it back later. Well, I think what Nikki is saying is right now it's we're still billing by the single double occupancy. Yeah. So in that sense, if the board decided to do and change it, oh, you're right. That we go forward, yeah, because he's asking for future bills, right? And since the future bills haven't been created yet, that we should wait for the policy before we decide. Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right, so this has been tabled. Pending a discussion of future sewer usage discussion. All right, so when you're uh, mapping out the um, agenda the agenda for the year, um, that'll, that'll be, we can. Sewer's going to be on a lot of, <laughs> a lot of meetings. Yeah. Well, then we'll um, follow up with him and let him know when that's yeah. planned for in the future. That way it's not just tabled um, indefinitely. Yeah. But he's going to this this yeah. year. So but but this year, yeah. yeah. yeah I think going forward. Um, so that leaves us with there's no executive session. Oh, no so Joe, just back to the, number one with sewer billing. Oh yes. Um, so this is me. So um, Ray um asked about this. I think a few months ago, maybe my first meeting, about um the potential to bill quarterly for sewer billing. Um. I want to thank you for your patience. We wanted some time to kind of do some research. Um, so I have a little bit of information to share about that. One is we reached out to the aqueduct and asked 
uh, hypothetically, if they could do uh, quarterly billing. Um, they said not at this time. There would not be something they would be for, um, but potentially in the future, they could do it. Um, so that kind of is, is, it stops us in our tracks. Um, but they did also mention that if we were to ask for more readings, um, there would be an increased cost to get those readings. Um, they did not give me a figure on what that cost would be, um, but right now we pay $12,000 for one reading. So whether that would be $12,000 four times, whether it be, you know, $24,000, they weren't, they weren't, weren't able to say, um, but it would be an increased cost um, to the sewer budget. Um, along with it costs approximately $543 to send out the billings once a year. So again, if you're doing that quarterly, you're looking at uh, just over $2,000 with the current price of stamps, you know, they always go up. Um, but so there is a cost to this along with, you know, the office time as well. Um, but as of right now, Aqueduct's not something that's interested in doing, uh, but going forward, potentially they are, um, but then there'll be the ad added cost to it as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We do have the minutes from March 21st. I'd like to move the minutes from March 21st. Okay. The motion has been made and seconded to approve the minutes. All in favor? Aye. 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 The motion carries four with one absent. And I have nothing else. Does anyone have anything else? We have the um, student and that says some. Um, yeah, she didn't. Come. She didn't come. So if she wants to, we can certainly reschedule that okay. um, in the future. No problem with that. Um, but then that, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Motion is made and seconded to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Motion carries. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.